next we are going to have an exercise using for loop and if statement in vb.net now before we get started let me show you one of the program which i have created let me first give a demo and help you understand what is this program is all about i am going to run the program you can see the program has a label which says find how many odd and even numbers present inside a range let me click on run the program so the very first question it asks enter the lower number for example i am entering 1 as my lower number i am going to click on ok then it is asking me enter the max number let's say the max number i am going to enter 3 so the lower number is 1 the max number is 3 the moment i go i am going to click on ok what it tells me in that range from 1 to 3 there was one even number found one even number found if i click on ok it says two odd numbers found so between one to three one is the odd number three is the odd number two is the even number so total count of odd numbers is two and total count of even number was one let me run the program once again for example i'm giving the lower number as for example one and I'm going to give the max number as for example 10. You can give any number. Click on OK. Now what is happening? Here it tells me between the range 1 till 10, I have 5 even numbers. There are 5 even numbers found and 5 odd numbers found. Let's change the range slightly a bit. Let me say 2 is the lower number and let's say 17 is my max number so you can see it quickly tells me there are eight even numbers found and eight odd numbers found so it is able to calculate how many even and odd numbers are present so what you do we have already learned how to use the for loop and how to use the if statement what you do pause the video from here and start coding on your own start coding on your own and after few minutes you can unpause this video and see how i have built the solution remember the solution built by person might differ you might have a different logic i might have a different logic that doesn't matter what matters whether it is giving the right output to you or not so I'm going to show you the logic. I have built this, but I want you to pause here and complete the exercise on your own. If you need help, please unpause the video and see the programming, how I have done. Now is the time for me to show you how I have built this program. So what I have done, first of all, I have declared three variables, i, low, i, max. These two variables are used for the input box, enter the lower number and i, max to enter the max number. So whatever you enter one and three or one, that range is getting stored between these two variables. Next, I have taken i as integer as a you know to run through the loop so if you see here i have started a loop with the i variable and the first one low that means let's say i am entering one and the max number i am entering three so one comes in the lower and three comes in the max so the range is one two three so the loop is going to run now when the loop starts i have used a if activity and this if activity if you see what it does, it takes the mod, the reminder. If you divide the number by 2 and you get a reminder 0, that means it's an even number. And when we, if this condition is true, then what it does, I have created a variable called even counter as integer, odd counter as integer. 
So the even counter, if it is even, then the counter is incrementing by one. If it is a odd number else, so I have used the else statement, odd counter plus equals to one. Okay. Now here the for each loop is closed. Now what happened at the end of the result? It will have the values for even counter and it will have the values for the odd counter. At the end, what I am doing, I am simply printing this number, even counter ampersand, and there is a space, colon, even numbers found, odd numbers found. So how many even number found and how many odd number found. So this is the logic I have used. So comment and tell me how many of you were able to complete this exercise successfully. Please do comment in the comment section of the video.